Hi YouTubers, Crud Big Rig here again, and I'd like to show you my personal favorite shotgun. It's also my only shotgun. It's the Benelli M4. The Benelli shotgun is one of the finest shotguns in the world, with a 8 plus 1 capacity, with the ability to ghost load. It's an excellent choice for home defense, as well as military personnel. Now a lot of you probably for, right off the bat are figuring, hey, this guy's got an illegally modified gun. This is completely 922R compliant. I used all the appropriate US manufactured parts to put it into this configuration. It has the factory Benelli stock. I like this stock because of the length of pull as well as the cheek weld works perfect for me. I actually didn't like the cheek weld on the original fixed stock. It was a little bit too low for my taste. I put the carrier comp full seven round titanium magazine in. I also put their magazine follower in as well as a wolf spring. I also have a Geisley hammer in here, as well as a US made hand grip. This puts it in all of the 922R required parts. I've not yet put night sights on them, but I will because I'm a big fan of them, and I think that any defensive weapon should have a form of tritium night sights. I also like this shotgun because it's smart enough to know the difference between a trigger pull and a racking of the bolt. To ghost load you simply pull back, push down on the elevator until the round goes underneath the actual bolt, load around forward and now you have and 8 plus 1 plus 1 capacity. When you go to pull the trigger, it also has a last round bolt hold open. The only issue I've had so far of running it at high speeds is when you go to load a round for a emergency reload, you have to press this nice little tiny button. Now why they put this on a combat shotgun I'm not sure, but once you feed in a round, you have to get around the gun to make sure that the bolt handle won't slam your finger and also cause a possible malfunction. Press the button down and then get back up on the gun. This gun also cycles everything. all the way down to seven and a half shot. Now if you want anything lower than that, you really don't be, need to be shooting it in a semi-auto anyway. But I hear complaints all the time of blah blah, uh, 12 gauge semi-auto isn't reliable. This is reliable. Now it's $1,700 reliable. I'll give you that. Uh, FN makes a gun that is a lot cheaper, but the issue is that you actually have to change the gas system up for lower recoiling rounds. This will cycle just about everything that a normal civilian could use. Now, beanbag rounds and stuff like that, obviously you'd have to cycle the bolt every single time. But that's not something that your standard U.S. citizen is going to be using. And quite frankly, I think it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Now this shotgun also has a length of pull adjustment. With these indexing knots you press the stock button down, forward, and then you use this as your indexing notch 
with the actual butt stock. This notch actually allows you to pull it out and disassemble and then you have one further one in for use with body armor. I personally don't have much experience with that but it's something nice to have and I've noticed with shorter stature shooters this is perfect. It also fully collapses in a nice compact package for carrying. The only other issue I've had with Benelli M4 so far is the fact that even though the safety when coming to take it off is very easy because you can keep your sights up on target when it comes to disengaging the safety you have to break grip and you have to break sight and what I mean by that is when you have the safety on you put the safety off you have to break grip like that to disengage it and then re-engage uh, so far I've had crap probably a good 2,000 rounds worth of seven and a half shot just for skeet shooting purposes and I have an additional 200 rounds of buckshot in it I haven't had a single issue not a single hiccup at all the other nice thing about the Benelli is that it has a cryogenically frozen barrel that supposedly patterns better I'm not too sure about that I think it's more of a marketing thing uh, you also have adjustable chokes and the nicest part about the barrel itself is that it is a chrome line barrel that's right a chrome line barrel I do believe it usually takes me only four or five solvent patches through this puppy to get it clean out of a heavy shooting session now to disassemble it you simply check to make sure that there's no ammunition in it I personally prefer to hit the uh, latch to hold this back uh, some guys actually like to physically hold the bolt back but I find it easier to do it that way you take off the magazine tube cover you pull forward just so slightly to get the hand guards off this whole assembly comes off now at this point in time you can just clean this and you're pretty much good to go wipe the bolt face but for a detailed cleaning you want to actually take these off and that one's actually a little loose so I've been firing a little bit too much lately actually clean the quote unquote Argo self cleaning gas pistons which they are very sharp they do scrape carbon off and they they will cut you very very easily so be careful with those when it comes to cleaning I would just simply wipe all this off because it's chrome lined then you release the bolt pull your charging handle out which it, like I said can actually be used to unloosen the Argo system pull the whole bolt out there's your rat tail your bolt assembly and your bolt head at this point you don't really need to clean it uh, I would probably go every 5,000 rounds if I were you uh, Benelli actually has a test that they did for the US Marine Corps that this went through I think it was 25,000 rounds without a single cleaning or malfunction and that's probably why it's the US service only semi-auto shotgun out there now to reassemble it's just your reverse you make sure that your tail is aligned and the only way you can really do that is 
cycle it a few times. Again, press that little, what I call clicker. It really is just a bolt hold open device. then you put your barrel assembly on, guide it in, and this is the, the tricky part which uh, a lot of guys seem to be baffled about. Is the actual handguard now that it's nice and aligned. Pull down, then you put your magazine tube cap back on, make sure it clicks nice and tight because we all know tighter the better when it comes to a shotgun barrel. And then let it slide home. Again function check. Safety's on, safety's off, bolt hold open. Benelli M4, these have been on the market since I do believe 2000, 2001, ever since the assault weapons ban was uh, thankfully sunsetted. These have been in the store and selling like hotcakes. Uh, every Benelli M4 comes with this recoil tube no matter what configuration it's in. That means if you have the money and you're willing to put the effort into making this 922R compatible, this is a hell of a shotgun. <laughs> Thank you.